Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Rishon, Amud Chet Bet, 8b, from the top of the page, Vafilo Atarot Vedivon, and even uh, this applies to Atarot Vedivon, which are the names of two cities in uh, in Bamiba. Shikol HaMashlim Parashiotav Im Hatibor Marichin Loyamav Ushnotav. For whoever completes the portion uh, of the week with the congregation, the parasha, his days and years are prolonged. <coughs> Rabbi Bar Abaye Savar Le Ashlo Minehu Le Parshiata Dechula Shata Bamale Yoma Dechipure. Rabbi Bar Abaye intended to complete the um, parasha of the entire year on the day prior to Yom Kippur. Tana le chia barav midifti, chia barav from, from difti, a city, taught him the b'raisa k'tiv, v'ini ten et nafshotechem v'tish'a lechodesh b'erev. It is written, and you shall afflict yourselves on the ninth of the month in the evening. V'chi b'tish'a mit'ani. It is on the ninth that we, so is it on the ninth that we fast, that is the ninth of Tishrei. V'halo basara mit'ani. Why is it on the why is it, why it's on the tenth that we fast? Yom Kippur is on the tenth, so why does the verse say the ninth? Rather, Ella Lomar, Ella Lomar Lecha, to tell you, Kol HaOchel Veshote Batish Batishi. Anyone who eats and drinks on the ninth, Maalea Lav Hakatuv Keilo Mitane Tishii VeAsiri. Scripture treats him treats him as if he fasts on the ninth and the tenth. Savar la akdominehu. So there's a thought to advance uh, the reading of the parashiot. Amar le hahu savar. Certain elder said to him, Tanina. It was taught in Rasa. Uvilvad shelo yaktim ve shelo yacher. As long as he does not uh, say the parsha before the time or after the time. Just scroll down. So we're reading from up the top on the screen from Kidamar. Kidamar lehu Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi Libnei, as Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi instructed his sons, Ashlimo par shiotech taichu im hatibosh nai mikra vechad targum. Complete the parsha together with the kihila uh, and read the Hebrew text twice and the targum once, the translation once. Va his haru be ba the his haru bav ridin kerabioda. Be careful um, when you're slaughtering a fowl to sever the vridin. Be careful with the vridin in accordance with Rabbi Yehuda. Ditnan for we learned in a Mishnah Rabbi Yehuda on there. Rabbi said Rabbi Yehuda said ad she yish. Yishchot et havridin until he severs the redin. Another of uh, Rav Yeshua's Ben Rav Yeshua Ben Levi instructions to his sons: Vehisharo bezaken sheshachach talmido talmudo mechamat onso, and be careful an elderly scholar who has involuntarily forgotten his learning. Damrinan luchot vishivred luchot munachot baron. For we say the tablets and the broken pieces of the first tablets are both together in the ark. Amalehu Rava Livne, Rava said to his sons, Keshatem chotchin basar, when you cut meat, al tachtechu al gav hayad. Do not cut it on your hand. Or gav yad might mean the back of your hand. Ikad Amre, there are two reasons. Ikad Amre Mishum Sakana, there are those who say because of the danger. The Ikad Amre Mishum Kilkul Silda, and there are those who say because you may ruin the meal. But Al Teshvu Al Mitat Armit, and do not sit on the bed of an Aramean woman. But Al Tavru Achore, Beit Akneset Beshaar Hatsibur Mitval Linden, do not pass behind a synagogue. 
when the kehila is praying. For al teshro al mitat aramit, and do not sit on the bed of an Aramean woman. Ika damri, damri. There are those who say lo tigno belo kriat shma. Do not go to sleep without first reciting shma. The ika damri, and there are those who say delo tinsevu giorata. That one should not marry a female proselyte, convert, um, someone who's converted. The Ikad Amri, there are those who say Aramit Mamash, it literally means an Aramean, Aramean woman. Umishuma said to Rav Papa, because of the following incident involving Rav Papa, de Rav Papa Azal Legabe Aramit. For Rav Papa went to the home of, a, of an Aramean woman, I think he was was to collect an outstanding loan. Hotsialo Mita, she brought out a bed for him to sit on. Amralo Shev, and she said to him, sit. Amala Rabbi Papa said to her, I will not sit until you lift up the bed. Uh, he wanted to see what was underneath. She lifted the bed up and they found there a dead child. Based on the above, these sages said, It is forbidden to sit on the bed of an Aramean woman. And do not pass behind a synagogue when the congregation is praying. Messiah le Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. It's a statement that lends support to Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. To Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. For Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said, "Asur lo le Adam sheavora chorei bet haknesed b'shasha tibor mitolin." It is forbidden for one to pass behind a synagogue when the congregation is praying. Amar Rabbi. And we do not say, except when there is another door. Sorry, when there is no other door. We only say this when there is no other door to the shul. However, if there is another door, we have nothing to worry about. We do not say, um, except where there are no other Bed Knesset and no other synagogues, Aval Ika Be Knishta Achrina. But if there is another uh, Bet Knesset in the town, late Lamba, we have nothing to worry about. Velo Amran Amaran Ela de lo Dare Tuna. We do not say, except where one is not carrying a load. Velo Rahit, and he's not running. Velo Manach Tulin, and he's not wearing Tulin. Aval ika chad mehanach leit lanba, but only where one of these um, things exist. Uh, so, if there one of these circumstances exist, we have nothing to worry about. Just scroll down. We're at um, we're at Tanya beginning Tanya Amar. Halfway down on the left. Scrolling down. So we're starting from halfway down on the left, Tanyama. Tanyama Rabbi Akiva Bishloshat Varimo Hevani et Hamadim. There are three things I like about the um, the Medeans. Keshachotkin et Habasar ein chotchin ella al gabe hashulchan. When they cut meat, they cut only on a table. Keshe nokshin, keshe noshkin ein noshkin ella al gavayad. When they kiss, they kiss only on the hand. Uchshe yotin ein yotin ella basade. And when they hold counsel, they hold counsel only in the field. Amar Ravada bar Ahava, Ravada bar Ahava said. My kara, what is the source of these? Ve'yishlach Yaakov ve'yikra l'Rachel u'l'aleya hasadeh el tzon o. Jacob sent and summoned Rachel and Leah to the field to his flock. Similarly, Tanya was taught in a b'raisa. Ama Rabban Gamliel. Bishloshat varim ohev ani et haparsiim. There are three things I like about the Persians. Hein tsinu'in tsinu'in ba'achlitan. They are modest in their eating. Utsnu'in bevet hakiseh. They are modest in the privy, the toilet. Utsniyon bedavar acher. And they are modest in uh, other matters, meaning 
and marital relations. Ani I have commanded I have commanded my, sorry, I have commanded my prepared ones. Tane Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef Tor, Eloha Parsiim Hamekudashin Umezumanin Legehinom. This refers to the Persians who are prepared and ready for Gehinom, meaning for their wicked deeds. Rabban Galil Omer, Rabban Gamliel said, Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, Amar Shmuel, Halacha Rabban Gamliel. Rav Yehuda said in the name of Shmuel, the Halacha accords with Rabban Gamliel that one may recite the evening Shema until the light of dawn appears, until Amud Hashacha. <coughs> Tanya, who's taught in the Bible, said, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai said, there are times when a person recites the Shema twice in the night. Once before the light of dawn rises and once after the light of dawn rises. And he fulfills through this, uh, through this his obligations, his obligation to say Shema of both the day and the night. Hagufa kasha, but this is a contradiction. Amat pa'amim she'adam kore kriyat shma shte pa'amim balayla. You said, firstly said, there are times when a person recites the shma twice in the night. That is, once before dawn and once afterwards. Alma le'achal she'alei hamud ha'shacha le'lehu. So, thus we can say that after the light of dawn rises, it is still considered night. Ba'adatane yotze bahen yedei chovato achat shali... So the Baraisa teaches that uh, he fulfills these recitations of Shema, uh, of uh, being obliged to say Shema, of both day and night. Thus, we can say that this period is actually considered day, the period between Amod HaShachar and Nets, between dawn and sunrise. Lo, no. Le'olam le'liyahu, actually, it is considered night. Baha Dekare le yom, and that which Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai ben Yochai calls it day, de ika in she de kayame behahi shata, it is because there are people who arise uh, from their sleep at that time. Amar Ravacha bar Chanina, Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Ravacha bar Chanina said in the name of Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Halacha karabi Shimon ben Yochai. This law is in accordance with Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai. There are those who record this, um, that Rav Acha Bar Chanina is, re is referring to this, to this other ruling. Titania for us taught in a Baraisa, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, or Memi Shum Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai said in the name of Rabbi Akiva, Pa'amim she'adam kore kriyat shma shte pa'amim bayom. There are times when a person recites shma twice in the day. Achat kodem hanet hachama v'achat l'acha hanet hachama. Once before, before sunrise and once after sunrise. And he fulfills through these uh, his Shema obligation of both the day and the night. That's another contradiction. You say, you first said there are times when a person recites Shema twice in the day. Alma kodem yamamahu. Thus, before sunrise is considered day. The Brasa then teaches that he fulfills through these uh, his Shema obligation of both the day and the night. Thus, we see that this period is considered night. <coughs>